Cat Williams joins me now live from Los Angeles. Cat, good morning. Uh, good to have you here good with morning, us. Good morning, TJ. How good. are you? I Thank am do you. doing all right. Now, we got to start with something. We have been reporting, and it has been attributed to you, a statement out there that you allegedly issued through your publicist, publicist apologizing for that routine. But you and I were just talking here in the commercial break. You said that's not really your statement. So tell me what the deal is. Well, we kind of have to start. I, I hope that everybody saw what I just saw. Um, mm -hmm. If a person starts their uh, heckling with F America, then that gives me the right to defend my country. I'm, I couldn't be anti-Mexican. Um, my Mexican fan base is largely responsible for me even in existing. So between mm -hmm. them and uh, the black community, it's really all I have. But I, I, don't, I don't think I need to apologize for being pro-American. Um, the guy said that all of this is still Mexico, and I was just giving him geography. This is America, <laughs> greatest country in the world. Well, well, help us understand. So do you not apologize for anything? We only show, we show like a 50-second clip there. No, It no, is like sir. seven or eight minutes, I, but... I, 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 Go ahead. I apologize for the fact that the word anti-Mexican is being said to a black guy in America. But you don't apologize for what you said in that, that studio, that stand-up. I'm... I'm not allowed to. As a stand-up, the only thing that I sell is uncensored thought. So I'm only selling them the way I think uncensored. So I'm not allowed to then come back the next day and apologize. That's, that's for the Tracy Morgans of the world. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. I'm apologizing if somebody thought I was trying to be anti-Mexican. Mexicans are my friends, so... So, so um, Kat, why, why is it somebody is, is allowed to put out a statement apologizing on your behalf, then? Sir, they put out a DVD called Cat Williams' Nine Lives while I was in jail without my permission. A lot of stuff has been happening uh, to a lot of black celebrities in the world. We just deal with it, thank Jesus, and keep on going, sir. Now, I guess it's clear to say, you gave me a little bit of what he was saying, but he kept going on and on, this heckler. Now, what yes. was it? You said he said F America. That certainly set you right, off. But, but, see, what, uh, but go ahead. We, we were in Phoenix. We were in Phoenix. So this is a heavily Mexican-American yeah. crowd. I gave $5,000 out to a Mexican-American uh, serviceman at this same show. It, it was nothing like that the night of the show. This happened 19 days ago. It's just happening in the Man. news yesterday because it's my birthday. Well, help me understand that. What was it? Because it's clear that you were visibly upset. And you said you're a proud American. You defended this was. country. So is that essentially was, what yes. it was? He was clearly out of line in your opinion. But he really got you hot. I was, I was offended because... He was making a statement that we're not allowed to make in this country. In this country, you have to pledge allegiance to America first and your country of origin second. And so the fact that he was blatantly disrespecting the law that we all follow, black people work too hard to become black Americans in this society, and we were slaves here. And we did a lot of free work. Um, whatever they did was in another country, and we certainly applaud their history, but don't come here talking to um, sons of slaves about that. And what? if there's something, if there's something anti-Mexican about what I said, then I apologize for the anti-Mexicanness of it. I was talking to I, one individual. I guess that's part of it, that, uh, or at least one line in there that did get to some people probably upset more so than others, because a lot of people familiar with your comedy, I am as well. I didn't hear a whole lot that was, you know, a departure from some of the other stuff I've heard you say in routines before. But you did say we were slaves. Speaking of black people, y'all just work like that at the right. landscaper. Even that statement, right. uh, you don't apologize for that one either. You think that one is, got too close to going over I the line? I can't apologize for it, even if it was close to the line, because at the end of the day, I wasn't there to make racial conversation. I was there to tell a joke. The joke was... If Mexicans love America, could they give black people Mexico? That was the entire joke, because we'd love it, and it's real close. We couldn't go back to Africa because of the flies. That was the joke. None of that's airing on the tape. This is an hour and a half show, sir. Now, would you, um, do you understand, at least, some people hearing that, and you were talking to one guy. Uh, it's clear that one other guy. people in the, in the crowd were laughing 
at what you were saying to him, it, even as you were going I off had on the one guy. If disrespected Mexicans, I wouldn't have been able to get out of there alive, sir, with all due respect. But as people, do you understand why people who do hear it maybe do get offended by it, who may, maybe didn't read the, the, or listen to the whole seven, eight minutes of it, but just maybe read a few comments? Do you think they just have the wrong impression, they, or you understand why some might think the landscaper comment might have been offensive? Telling a, a Mexican like that guy to get to stepping back to Mexico, how that comes right. off as being offensive? No, no, he said that we were in Mexico. So let me just say this. Yes, I can see what you're saying, TJ. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I think those people should watch more of this CNN show so they can see there are real news factors going on in this country that w things we should discuss, like our president versus football, rather than worry about what a comedian's saying. Yeah. If you don't like me, don't come see me. If you do like me, I'm, I'm here for you. But I love Mexicans and I love Mexican Americans. But I love America overall. Let's be very clear about that. Any concern? about how people might view you down the road, how this could none, impact none, your sir. career down the road. People none. might not want to book Abs you in uh, Texas or that Arizona or California. Sir. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Let's let that happen, but let the statement be that um, I'm a Christian, I'm straight. All right. Well, we will leave it there. Again, I wanted, I'm glad we got thank to you. clear it up because we have been, Cat, this thank morning. thank you, TJ. We have been talking about this morning an apology that Cat Williams sent out, and you're telling me that was not your apology, so that's important to note this I morning. I just made my apology, TJ, live in front of CNN. Cat, good to see you. But if you enjoy California, we'll talk to you again soon back here in Atlanta. Absolutely. I can I can understand what is meaning, right? Especially if you watch the video. If you watch the video prior before before all this happened, you can see that he was speaking in New Mexico and he did offended the Mexican guy and said if uh, American love if uh, Mexicans love uh, New Mexico, can they give Mexico to America? And that was a joke, but it was really, um, it was really personal to the guy, so that he got really, really mad. And Cat Williams kept like fanning the flames by going closer to the guy, if not for security guards, right? The guy would have probably punched him, or they would have started an altercation, altercation together, which would have resulted in in something very, very, uh, very, very not good. You know, what I can take from this is. There is a way in which you can pass your message right in such a way that it shouldn't hurt other people, you know, and let the people know that it's a joke. Because the guy was really, 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 really offended. Like if not for his security guards, the guy would have given me a punch on his face. So if you want to pass a message that you know that it might be harmful or that it might hurt other people and you don't know a way to say it, what you can do is um let the person know like, hey man, this is a joke. This is a joke. It may hurt you, but I'm sorry if this hurts you, but it is a joke. Once you say that, then you go ahead and uh, and pass your message and pass your message along. You know, once you say that, you go ahead and and pass your message along. And and knowing, hopefully, knowing that the person won't, won't be mad at you because the mistake Carolyn did was he passed his message and still kept on saying, agitating the guy to be very, very angry at him. And the guy got really, really angry. And I really felt really, really sad for the guy, like really, 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 really sad. I wish I had that video where I could even like play it, they will upload it later. He got really, 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 really angry at him, really, really, really mad at him for, for the way he, uh, he reacted and spoke to him. Let me let me look for that video and attach it to this. Let's watch and see. Then we'll talk again later. Oh, Gina, you can make that assumption. Well, understand this. This is what gives me the right. And don't you get it twisted. If y'all had California and you loved it, then you shouldn't have gave that motherfucker up, nigga.
It don't matter, sir. This whole stage is a circle. I'll be right back to you. Because I'm saying, you think I'm just in Mexico and I'm defending America. Because you, are you Mexican? Do you know where Mexico is? No, this ain't Mexico. It used to be Mexico, motherfucker. And now it's Phoenix, goddammit. See, just from watching the video, you can tell that he he was really agitating on the guy so much and coming closer to him and saying, if he loved Mexico, could he? If he loved California so much, why did they give it up and using the N word on him? Usually, it's uh, it's it's not a good thing to do, but it's not nice. Like if you if you're saying the thing that's supposed to be a joke, let the audience know. Let the person. Who knows that hey man this is a joke though it might offend you but it is a joke don't take it don't take it personal trust me i believe i believe the guy uh i believe the guy took it personal because if not for the security guard that came in to uh, to to prevent that from happening he would have taken it too too personal in such a way that they would have started fighting see kawilam was wearing a hat he took off the hat that showed you that he got really really um he had got really really angry you know that's to show you that he had got really really angry and if care wasn't taken they would have started fighting each other you know which is just something that started as a joke but it's good that he, as he apologized in sin in front of everyone you know because it was a mistake for it it wasn't right at all it wasn't correct and wasn't right <laughs> 